Hey YouTube, I have a quick book review for you today. The book I read is called Across the Universe by Beth Revis. And I know a lot of people thought that the title had something to do with the movie Across the Universe, but it has absolutely nothing to do with that movie. It's not a novelization of that movie, it's not a sequel, it's just something totally different. And it's a young adult science fiction. I know books like The Hunger Games are considered science fiction, but because they don't take place in space, they're not that science fiction-y. It's more of just like dystopian. And this, I would say, is definitely a dystopian science fiction young adult novel. And I really, really enjoy science fiction, so I might be a little bit biased, but this book was really, really excellent. It's about 400 pages, but it only took me a couple days to read. Actually, probably like two days because I just raced through it and I didn't want to put it down. And it's written in an alternating first-person point of view between um, two main characters, Amy and Elder. The story is about Amy, and at the very beginning, Amy and her parents are being cryogenically frozen um, to go on a 300 year space voyage where they're looking for a new Earth like planet. Her parents are needed for this mission, and she comes along with them because she doesn't want to stay behind on Earth. But what happens at the beginning is Amy is woken up about 50 years before everyone else that's in cryosleep, and they're about 50 years away from their destination um, at the new planet. And this is a huge problem because she almost dies when she's woken up and nobody on the ship has any idea who tried to wake her up. The first person she meets is Elder, who is second in command on this sort of hierarchy of um, command on the ship. Eldest is the captain, sort of, and Elder is his apprentice. And they form this sort of bond because Amy doesn't know anyone else on the ship. What follows is just this really, really fascinating epic story of Amy and Elder and all these different plots, twists, and mysteries on this ship. And I was not expecting there to be, like, that much of mystery. I thought it was more of, like, a love story. And there is a little bit of romance, but it's definitely, like, a mystery um, I, I never wanted to put it down because I wanted to know what happened next, and there's a lot of twists. When it got near the end, I thought I knew exactly what was going to happen, but then it just totally threw me for a loop, and it was such a crazy adventure. So I would definitely recommend this book. Even if you don't particularly like science fiction, it's a really good story, and if you do like science fiction, I would definitely say check it out because I love science fiction, and I love this book, and... I think everyone would like it if they read it. And it comes out January 11th of 2011, so it's 11111. They put that on the back of the book, which I think is kind of cool. 11111. So definitely check that out. Maybe use some of your Christmas money to buy it. I've got a ton of books on my to read list, so hopefully over the next couple weeks I'll have a couple more book reviews for you guys. See you later.